Hey guys, welcome finally back to a slice of gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is the Final Fantasy IV, the complete collection for the Sony PlayStation Portable. It's been two months, does anybody remember what happened last? Well, let's fill you guys in since it's been a while. So, last time, Gecko, Izayoi, Tsukanawa, Zengetsu went to the different areas of the world, like Mesidia and Troya, to check out what was going on, and it was kind of unanimous that something was going on with Babil. So now we're going to bring it all back to Eng and see what he's got in store next. Eng, it's time to get up. You've been in bed for two months. The moon is getting bigger and bigger. Could it be the same moon? The one that was home to Golbez and Fusoya? Are the Lunarians back for us? I wish I could get rid of this unease in my heart, but everything's happening just as it was before. Just like when Rubicon stormed the castle. <laughs> and with an exclamation mark, he leaps out of the door that we could never open before. Your young highness? Your young highness! Hey, Zanesha, how's it going? Where's Master Edge? He should be sleeping in his chambers. What's wrong? The Tower of Babil, that's what! I knew it! It's back! Need I remind you, Edge? Remember in the interlude? When this thing was starting to pulse again? You were there! You knew this was happening before! It's just such a short-term memory. Before we go on our merry little way, let's donate to him the items that we have and go to the equipment shop and see if there's anything that we can quickly buy now that uh, the others have gathered up money for us oh, so nicely. But first, let's stop by the armor shop and see if we can do anything before we buy any items. Uh, so far, it looks like... And yeah, it does look like no, so I know one thing I can buy from here, and that's another one of you. Very nice. Guess I should, uh, sell some of this crap, so let's just sell the two things I don't need. Probably will never need these swords, but, you know, I'll keep that just in case of something that will never happen. I, I don't know why I'm keeping that. Let's stock up on items, so lots of potions, please. Lots of high potions, please. After that, I'll need some Phoenix Downs, that's for sure. Definitely gonna need some of those, because we'll be dying. Especially later, because we know what's gonna kick our ass a little bit later after this chapter's done. Ugh. Anyways, let's buy some stuff first. Let's use the rest of our money. And let's actually just sell those swords, because who cares, whatever. We're never gonna be needing those for anything, except maybe to stab people in the face with. And we'll buy... I guess we'll just buy some more potions. Maybe we'll buy just one high potion. There, I think we're ready. Let's sort my stuff out here. And we're ready to go. Let's go somewhere where we haven't been since the very first game. You know where that is? It's a spicy little place that I've never pronounced right. The Cave of Eblan. Oh yes. This place has its secret passages, it's got its chest, and it's the random battles. Oh, random battles, how I've missed you so. You're so crazy, random battles. It's been a long time since I've been Final Fantasy IV random battle. Well, not for me, I have to do some catching up, but for you guys, it's been a long time. It's gonna be great fun once again. Oh, so much fun to random battle, don't you think? And what's a better way to celebrate than the random battle? That's also an ambush! It's just when I need Gatling Hogs and Sword Rats. The random battle where I get ambushed. I'm surprised that right off the whip I didn't get back to do. Because I hate when that happens. But I also love getting chests, though. I love getting my new equipment. Let's 
Good thing we didn't really buy or need anything for Edge because he kind of had everything, but we'll be fully supplied here in this cave, so I'm not really too terribly concerned. And there's one chest up here with another piece of armor in it. It's going to be nice and lovely for him. She can take care of these bones. I'll be using some of the a little bit later to get money out and so we can see what Edge is all about in this version. He's gone a little bit tougher. He's going to be using some things that we haven't seen before on him. And some things that he has now that we don't need anything for. Like his mug attack, which is going to be nice. those levels, because remember, that bonus that needs to be by ass, and we need all the help we can get. Oh, do we ever. Besides, who doesn't miss this? I know I don't. I guess sometimes I, I just need a little bit of break from this, but so much time All that lovely stuff that nobody cares about, so who cares? Silver breastplate, let's get it on, let's get going. Nobody cares about my stories. Speaking of stories, I actually do have one that's gonna be occurring a little bit later on. Of something that's unfortunate that I don't have. Probably won't be told in this one, but it'll be told in the next one for sure. And ninjutsu makes everything easier. I should have probably done that before. Oh, okay. We can ninja to these guys then. Sounds good to me. Besides, it's a celebration. What makes a celebration better? Fire. I know that's what makes my celebrations awesome. Whenever I have a birthday party, I'm just So, you know how I love back in the days when Ed used to suck at stealing? Stealing. But the nice thing is he can do some damage while trying, so it's kind of like a big plus for him. Like, I know you're trying your best edge, and I really appreciate it. It's just that uh, you still kind of are the best thief. Oh, maybe I'm wrong! I like getting potions for free. Can I have four potions? Not lucky enough to have four hours, which is two is fine. You still need to have more training for block before you can become a good thief. Might as well use his new ninjutsu we just learned, heal pill. Something you didn't have before and never existed in the first game, and it's a nice ninjutsu to have. I like that he can heal well. It comes in handy, especially later on. Alright, I'm gonna stop whispering now, because this place looks familiar. This is where the people of Ebland used to used to reside back when the castle was destroyed. Now it's just empty, except for one thing. Father, mother. I've buried you out of sight just as you requested, father. A ninja to the end. Don't you ever get lonely all the way down here? And now that tower has been set into motion once again. I know what all this means already. I swear I won't let anyone go through that again. So I'll be going now. Yes, his father and mother met that unfortunate end at the end of Final Fantasy IV. So a suitable burial place for them where the people of Evelyn used to live. So out of sight, out of mind, just as it seems to be requested. Just like a ninja would. Meanwhile, the fighting's their souls, probably. But anyways, let's let's keep on going. Crack open this egg! Oh my god, it's a Lilith. I you want Lilith, you want 
bananas in your face. Yeah, the middle boomerang looks like bananas. It does. I should probably take care of that silence so we can actually use ninjutsu, but I'll be fine. Who wants the easy life anyways? Easy life is for chumps. Jerks. Let's take care of these souls with some bananas in the face action. Oh, you want more than those two bananas, huh? These souls, I tell you, they're just fussy. I just like being having bananas in their face, I guess. Let's grab this chest that's up here, that I know is up here. An emergency exit that I don't think I've ever actually ever used at all. But this came once. I don't think I actually ever used it on my own, except for me. So this thing's kind of next to useless to me, and this is probably that battle where I kicked myself in the face and realized I should have probably gotten rid of that ninjutsu, or that spell, or that silence, or that something. I don't touch. It's just a crazy one, that's just how it is, I guess. And we need levels. Let's, let's take care of this right now. There. That makes me feel a little better. Might as well even out our potions. There. Just to make sure he doesn't die randomly. Oh hey, I got my echo hook back. That works for me. And of course I gotta crack open another mystery egg. And now we've learned something scientific everybody. Hedgehogs come from eggs. This moment of science is brought to find Final Fantasy IV complete of the slice of gaming brought to you by the only Pi Peter 4. We've all learned a little something today. Hope everybody takes it in, tells their family that they've learned something very educational by watching somebody play video games and talking about absolutely nothing. Anyways, enough of my depressing state of life. Let's beat these souls into oblivion more so. Oh, I feel so morbid. Anyways, treasure chest, yay! Something shiny to look at instead. Okay, might as well use this silver apple up and upper HP a little bit. Since, uh, since as we remember right last time in the game, even though he's got the highest HP now, he will probably die because he has absolutely horrible HP and defense for later. So any HP he can get would be brilliant. I think this is the last little section here, other than the next one. Oh no, wait, there is one thing, I think. So we can change our moon phase here, but I think we're fine, so I'm not gonna bother. I don't really like to deal with that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's just... This is absolutely necessary, I just don't like... I don't like doing it, it's a waste, it's a waste of five goddamn minutes that I don't have. Nobody wants to see me sitting around the tent saying, Oh, let's just change the moon phase for no real reason. Unless my attacks are high enough, I'm sure I can beat these souls in one blow. Never mind. I can't beat these souls in one blow. Good. Ooh, new weapon. So I might be able to beat these souls in one blow more, um, more commonly. Whatever that word is called that I can't think of. I'm back. Back to where I first tasted defeat. Rubicon. What? What's going on here? Ignoring that. Let's go get the chest. You know, there's something I've always wondered about those chests. And I just have to say, who's the guy that comes down here in these caves in the middle of the towers on the moon? Moon caves. 
and just decides to leave behind these chests for us with, like, potions and weapons inside. Whose job is that, anyways? Never imagined I'd be going through here again. Alright, kids, we've learned another educational lesson here in Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection. You can spin around three times and get through the Don't try this at home, and don't blame me if it doesn't work. This is it, we don't do any on the path of the this game. Proto bean cannons that look like beans. Seriously, look at look at look at the bottom part. It looks like a boot. It's a laser boot. I wish I had laser boots. That'd be awesome. First, you gotta take care of oh, more laser boots. Aw, souls. More of you. No offense, guy. Hey, guy. Listen, guy. I'm tired of you guys. I'm just saying. I want to spice things up. You know, something where I can go fancy. Something where I can just be like, ooh, look at this, I can do fancy things. And actually, you know, have a bit of a challenge instead of just beating these souls up. Will you deliver? Oh, you will deliver, thank you! You better not leave me behind! And suddenly, Sukunawa's in this place for no reason. Sukunawa! Walked across the ocean and climbed up on the tower. This kid's got talent! Alright, I'm gonna do something fancy in this battle a little bit, but first I gotta kinda take care of this problem. Now, the problem being that it has 2 HP and will probably die. So let's take care of this first. Let's take care of these problems. And as soon as those problems are taken care of, Go. Let's not hold back anymore. We haven't done one of these in a long time. The whole fancy of FF4, guys. Are these fancy fancy bands? And since this chapter has the most characters in it, for now, anyways, it will also have the most bands in it, for now, as of now, I should say. So we have quite a few bands to go through, and most of them will be in this part here. This last thing. I should probably heal Supernova, but I'd rather just kind of take care of him so it doesn't kill him. Here! Sukunawa, you're still in one piece. Miss Sadia's magic has nothing to do with ninjutsu. Of course not. Let's go, Master. Let's go indeed. So Sukunawa is now back in the team. So we're a little bit stronger now, a little bit more powerful, and he's magically gone healed. I wish that was me and getting magically healed. That would be great. But instead it's like, oh no, you're not gonna be lucky enough, you just gotta you just gotta go through it, I'm afraid. All by yourself. How unfortunate. You guys again. You're not very entertaining. After that awesome scene, and then all of a sudden it's you guys? Get out of here. Oh, here's what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful with these guys. Master, you overexert yourself. Just be 
because it's kind of a bad thing to happen. Then dies into sort of Easy, all you returned to Eblin. Hopefully, you won't treat me like a woman if you call me master. Are you serious? I place my status as an Eblin ninja above my gender. You've gone crazy, woman. And with that odd conversation, we are having Izayoi back in the team now. That somehow seemed kind of not the kind of conversation you normally have when somebody's bad. Oh, by the way, you should treat me as a woman. You're still crazy, woman. No, I'm not a woman. Just a long time ago. I just knew. I can't do it. I just gotta do it. Uh, you guys again? I thought I told you to get out of here. Nobody wants you, Proto Clock. Nobody wants you ever. You just you don't even do anything. I just kill you before anything happens. God. I also just realized if not when you get here, I'll have to battle huh? everybody. I guess it's just the person that comes in, so... Which kind of sucks. A little bit. I thought, get out of here once and for all, please. I don't want you... Excuse me. I don't like you. I said get out! Master, keep yourself focused. Hey, old man! Yetsu! How's it going, guy? Ready for a band? Let's show off this two band. It's gonna be amazing. You, you will kite, go. Oh my god. They just what? That photo clockwork just attacked his own friend. Amazing. Yeah, I thought that would work, but I thought I should try because. Even though they're robots, they have wings too. And somehow when it's a Getsu and it's drop from the sky, they explode. That seems about right. Zengetsu, you're safe. I may be old, by the way, but I'm well really experienced. I can see that. See, now that's a more suitable conversation you can have when joining your team. Wasn't like, you're old. I know, but you're still old. Thanks. Bye. There's that's going down this middle pathway. It just kind of screams. There's a treasure down here for me. Also, before I forget, after this battle, I should probably suit out and get to with the things I'm going to project on the field. Just to make him a little bit not die as much. That sounds about right. There we go. Speaking of equipment, here's a new spear for you, guy. I like, I like getting new equipment. Getting new equipment is great. Ooh, even more tough guys. I know you're coming. I apologize for my tardiness, sir. There he is. Last guy. We Shall we fancy it up? Shall we fancy it up to the extreme and have everybody use their, uh, ninjutsus? I think so. Even though this is probably extremely dangerous and busy, always probably gonna die. Based on her horrible HP and the amount of damage that does. Oh. Die. Die. Don't do it. Oh. I, I knew that was gonna happen, and that just breaks up the whole band of fanciness. I was so excited, and as you can just have to die. Well, I guess for now we'll just do another fancy band. That's that's just as useful for this. We'll save our fancier bands for fancier things, fancier times. You know how uh, we had frozen moon dance? Well, how about? 
light it up to blazing blue ring. There it is. Kako! We're dealing with an unknown enemy, Master. Unknown? I think they arrived here on the radio from the heavens. They what? Alright, thanks. See another awkward conversation, and it's like, okay, yeah, you can come in even though you're crazy. And there's, it just leaves it at that. It's like, you know, I'm crazy, but I should probably actually take care of this problem that I have for many nights somehow. Because I wanted to be fancy. I guess being fancy has its costs. Not the kind of cost like this, though, where I have to use all my s stupid items for no reason. Isn't we better not die this time than everything? Alright, let's go. Let's be extra. Extra fancy. You guys ready? This is gonna be great. This is gonna be exciting. Everyone's gonna be hyped up for this. Oops, I totally didn't mean to do that. This is not the fancy thing. This is the really fancy thing. Ready for another fancy thing? Alright, everybody in Jutsu. Just like we planned before, Lisa, you decided to die. Because she's like that. And just as like, you know, just do it. I know. You guys ready for this? This is the fanciness I've tried to do before, but it just didn't work out that way. Plus, we found some victims for fanciness. Are you ready for some extra fancies? Here we go. Last band of the video. It's gonna be fun. So, have everybody use their special attacks of Shuriken, Illusions, Edge will be Mug, I believe. Nope. You human kite. Five man band for the first time. Let's go. Ultimate Art, Advert of the Phoenix, and the Snipe in my Fury Wings. Found my darting dancing sword. Let it slice in uncompassing darkness. The sound of tolling bell of tomorrow. Now we call forth Elven Stage and Technique, Advert of the Phoenix. And Pose. Well, that was so great. And then Edge got Oh, he did too! Well, that was a horrible way to end things. Oh my god, and I used a that for God. Wow, that was a horrible end to things. That was an amazing end. So with that, I think it's a good time to end off this part. It's finally back this walkthrough. See you in the next part, guys.